Everything's about to collapse. Well, Ida, looks like you got your wish for publicity after all. Time to see what's on this lost footage. Oh, it's Lois Manson. She's alive? That's the Jewel of Karnak. So Lois Manson didn't die from a snake bite while filming the first Pharaoh after all. Actress that she was, she faked the whole thing. The director was obviously in on it, as well as the coroner who signed her death certificate. So she must have been some kind of spy or federal witness or something. In any case, once the camera stopped rolling, she vanished. As for the jewel of Karnak, which Lois apparently stole from the director after he switched it with a fake, Arthur Hitchens returned it to the Egyptian Museum from which it had come some 80 years earlier. This generated a lot of publicity, as did Ida's very convenient nervous breakdown, which allowed her to avoid prosecution when it came to that cave-in. As a result, the new Pharaoh movie was a smash hit. Arthur was thrilled. Molly McKenna, who, believe it or not, wound up adopting that stray black cat I'd been chasing all over the lot, didn't much care. George Jackson, however, was disappointed. Despite his denials, he deeply resented the fact that Arthur had used his considerable influence to make George unemployable unless he directed Pharaoh. He wanted the movie to taint because it would have ruined Arthur financially. Of course, it wouldn't have done wonders for George's career, but he was either too focused on payback or just plain too dumb to realize that. As for me, the Tinseltown Tattler has been hounding me for months trying to get the inside scoop of my adventure. I'm thinking I'll just have their people call my people which means I'll have to train my people, i.e. Togo, to answer the phone. But something tells me having to talk to a dog won't phase their people one bit. I learned where my next case would take me.
I am Z.B. Collingwood, and it is October the 5th, 1936. Well, the first day of shooting what will surely be my most memorable, and certainly my greatest picture, is over. We shot the grand barge scene, and I must say, the sand, the palm trees, the water, and Lois, my dear, delicate, exquisitely beautiful Lois, everything worked. Everything came together for a shot that was breathtaking. Even the crew was in awe, and that is always a good sign.